Hello everyone, today I'm going to present about circuit of sustainability. First, I will talk about where do the circuit of sustainability come from. The circuit of sustainability arose from a dissatisfaction with present methods to sustainability and sustainable development, which tended to regard economics as the primary subject and ecological as an aside, such as the triple bottom line approach. At first, the circle of sustainability was the original part of Paul James and Liam McGee's larger circle of social life project, which tended to analyze questions of resilience, adaptation, security, and reconciliation. After that, Metropolises, the UN Global Compact City Program, and other organizations collaborated to create the circle of sustainability. The initiative of the Circle of Sustainability starts with the creation of an integrated collection of tools for analyzing and monitoring sustainability challenges as well as project development assistance. In many parts of the world, this approach is used to assess sustainability and manage projects with socially sustainable outcomes. The, the Circle of Sustainability consists of four domains, which are ecology, culture, politics, and economics. The ecological domains focus on concerns of social environment, inter interconnectivity, such as human effect on and location within the environment. Second, culture is defined as a social domain that emphasizes behavior, discourses, and material forms that convey the continuities and discontinuities of social meaning of a shared existence across time. Third, Politics is a social domain that focuses on the act and meaning linked with basic concerns of social power as they related to the organization, authorization, legitimation, and management of a shared social life. Lastly, the economy is defined as a social domain that focuses on the activities, discourse, and material manifestation related with resource generation, use, and management. Sapporo is one of metal metropolises who use the circle of sustainability to monitor sustainability challenges. As you can see in the picture, for example, what they did worst is on the ecology part with the construction along with settlements. You can see that it shows red, which means this terrain is critical and need to be solved as soon as possible. In other words, people construction has greatly destroyed the environment in that particular area. Another example would be on politics, about communication along with the social movement. As you can see, the color show green, indicating that they are doing good at this part. In other words, communication and movement was well put to tackle basic concerns of social power as related to management of a chair social life, such as the environment. The reason that circle of sustainability are ethically relevant in the business context is that it could also be used to measure the sustainability of business because the tools are clear and easy to communicate to customers. With tools that can identify which one among ecology, economics, politics, and culture are doing good or bad, companies can easily set goals, improve, and eventually evolve towards more sustainable systems and models. For ecology, it reveals the variety of options, decisions, effects, and responsibilities that one's company play in the local community and share world. For culture, it is relevant to the business context in which it focuses on the interaction between corporations and their function in society. It investigates how individuals are able to live the life they value. For politics, it is utilized to promote business interests, but also about how it is working to create circumstances where collectively beneficial solutions may be developed. In terms of economics, in the circle of sustainability, the company can investigate whether their production complies with the resources in society or not. Moreover, with the circle of sustainability approach, it is possible to understand the challenges and tensions using the circle of sustainability concept. It provides ongoing input and monitoring in regards to implementation challenges and positive outcomes. By moving toward more sustainability, the business can reduce their costs, improve business reputation, attract employees and investors, and most importantly, the business can make stakeholders satisfied. Thank you.